Okay, so in this video, this quick tutorial video, I'm going to show you guys exactly what a story pole is and how it can be used. The reference mark is what you set your story pole at to make consistent measurements or consistent marks across your job. Our reference mark, this is a nice upside down one and three eighths measurement. What that is, is we have gone through and marked every bracket with a measurement based off of where we have set our grade benchmark and then brought our Stabila laser around and marked every bracket within a 16th of where grade is. And grade is one and three inches, one and three eighths of an inch up from the bottom of this bracket. So that inch and three eighths mark is gonna then be transferred to this post. We're gonna find the highest or the longest point on this post and we're gonna mark inch and three eighths. That is now our reference point that we will use to set our story pole. So what exactly is a story pole? It's pretty simple. It's just a pole, a board, a rod, any long whatever piece of material that you can put all of your reference marks on that are going to be consistent throughout the building. So for us, that's going to be our heel height. The bottom of our truss is at 16 foot on every post. Every post has a wall girt going at 39 inches for our wainscot and every 32 inches after that. So we've got these marks that we just need to repetitively put on every post regardless and they're all based off of that reference mark that we just derived by taking the laser around the site and marking each bracket where grade was and that is our reference. So we're going to now take that story pole that we've got all of our marks on and we're going to line it up with that reference mark. So as long as we consistently put this story pole on our reference mark, it's as easy as transferring the measurements without ever having to re-pull out your tape measure again. And that's what it's all about. It's not just about consistency, but it's also about efficiency. And uh, that's a lot quicker than having to pull out a tape measure. Once the marks are all on the columns, thanks to our story pole, that is how we lay out exactly where our wall girts go. So that's how you make the story pole, and that is the application. Now we can have repetitive measurements across the board, across the building, every post based off of that laser mark that we made on each bracket. So makes it very easy Everybody's on the same page, no thinking involved. Once it's made and everything is done here on the sawhorses, all the marks are already laid out and uh, it's just a matter of putting the pieces where they go like Legos, nailing them and putting them up. Now that the walls are up, you can see that by shooting lasers using story poles, no effort, no snap lines, it just uh, goes together properly and consistently. So the use of a story pole is easy, it's tried and true, they've been using them for years and it allows you to keep a consistent mark across your building, your project, whatever it is, you just mark a board one time or your pole one time and you use it throughout the entire process. So hopefully that is a good tip and trick that you guys will find useful on your building projects and as always if you've got questions just hit, hit them up in the comments or send me a message.